Gabby is in soft lines, Elias grocery, Jonah, you're at the gun counter. Oh, uh, oh, uh, can I switch with somebody? I just, I don't really believe in guns. I mean, I'm just kind of against selling them or buying them or owning them. You don't have a gun? No, what do I need a gun for? Home security, hunting. I mean, without guns, how are you gonna properly start a drag race? Vaya con Dios, amigos! Without a gun, I do not know how I would stop that raccoon from trying to impregnate my Winnie the Pooh lawn ornament. Okay, look, I'm not, I'm not like against weapons as a whole. I, I, I fenced in college. <laughs> okay. What? What are you doing? Oh, I'm keeping a list of all the crazy white person stuff you say. Oh, fencing. That's definitely going on there. What else is on there? Oh, it's long. I got wearing boat shoes, BBC America, makes his own trail mix. You love my trail mix. <laughs> All right. OK, it's fine. Jonah, you can trade with. Wait, wait, wait. We can just say no to a shift assignment, because I would rather not be in fitting rooms. They're basically just fart capsules. Can I not be in menswear? Everything there reminds me of my ex-boyfriend, Brian. Hey. Hey, hey! Um, I like that nine millimeter and a box of bullets, please. Yes, got it. Uh, you want a, a nine millimeter mm -hmm. and a box of bullets. Coming right up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that for you. Just gonna grab it from right. That's yeah. The this one. is yeah. No, I. <laughs> it's coming. Oh wow! Ooh, that's that's heavy. <laughs> this feels like a like an eleven. Millimeter, am I right? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> um, are, are you talking to me? Oh, yeah. You. We would to buy one rifle, please. Just the one rifle, please, and thank you. What, what are you going to hunt for? Uh, liars. Elk. Hunting elk. Um, if, if you could excuse me for one moment. I'm just gonna sit in front of my television and I'm gonna eat and drink whatever I want. Okay, well, what you're describing is every single day of my life. Really? Uh, hey, so uh, there is someone over there that I really, really don't think should be allowed to own a gun um, or a car or uh, a fork. What do I do? Well, I mean, you're allowed to deny him service, but only if you think he's actually dangerous. Okay, good. Uh, how do I know that he's actually dangerous? Yeah, maybe no gun for him. This is the first year that we're having an in-store Santa, so I am taking the selection process very seriously. Well, I've had a lot of experience. Good. I've closed a number of department stores. Okay. And I, I was trained by Wayne Gunderson. Wait. Uh, he's uh, Santa Claus at the Chicago Macy's. Oh, wow. He's a legend. You sound <laughs> really qualified. Well. <laughs> Is that it? Is that the one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Well, so I have the job? <laughs> <laughs> well, not yet, my fat red friend. <laughs> Congratulations. Out of over a dozen applicants, you're the super six who made it past the grueling yet simple Megan's Law search. So let's get. Oops. Sorry. Excuse me. One sec. Richard, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Hey, Glenn. What? Excuse me. Um, do you have a sec to talk? Oh, yeah, sure. Now's a good time. Um, here? Oh, you're hurting my leg. OK, look, you're going to have to get used to that. We get a lot of little porkers up here. Yeah, go on. Yeah, well, I was just wondering if there was any way that we could switch around Adam's schedule just so that we're not on the same shifts, you know? Just because you like okay, it. OK, say no more. I totally get it. Okay, I, I was actually surprised you wanted him to work here, seeing how things are with your marriage. How things are with my marriage? How things are with your... What does that mean? Well, you're not that things are bad, you know. Just that you've been married a long time, so maybe the spark is gone, or... What? No, no, I mean, maybe you hit a rough patch. Okay, no, no, Glenn, that's worse. Okay, um, you know what? Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about, you know, but I, I do know I gotta get back to sitting. Um... Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. 
Well, you were absolutely no help there. You have to be ready for anything because the questions are going to be coming fast and furious. Like, how can you deliver presents to billions of children in one night? Santa one. Elves. Elves, no, elves make the presents. By Christmas, their job's done. <laughs> Go, go. Okay, uh, let's talk about dealing with the Jewish kids. After careful consideration, I've decided to go with the applicant I pretty much knew I was going to go with from the beginning. Uh, Santa number one. Congratulations. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, oh, uh, what did you say this pays? Pays? Yeah, the, how much is pay? <laughs> well, no, no you, you get to be Santa. I get it, to be yeah it it pays in a thousand smiles oh. it pays in the wonder on a little kid's face what? well i guess it's you congratulations cody you're santa claus i'm gonna be the best santa okay No, I'm, I'm telling you, they, they feel exactly the same because they are exactly the same. Well, let me at least try your belly. I'm not gonna... Fine, but just be careful, I'm ticklish. Um, everything okay over here? Keep moving. I'm a Cloud Club Rewards member. It's not a big deal. Just Jonah? Let me do this. <laughs> Rex? Wait, I'm sorry, you know him? Yeah, we went to business school together. Dude, what the hell are you doing here? Could you uh, pull that up a little bit higher? Pull it up higher. I heard you. Anyway, I just started driving, and uh, and then I saw that they were hiring here. That's that's great. Yeah. Wow, I wouldn't have guessed that. I would have figured you were one of those guys around a uh, voyage of self-discovery. Oh. You know, backpacking through Asia, rolling <laughs> cigars in Cuba. Or as Jonah would say, Cuba. He does that. Yeah. <laughs> Should I be embarrassed that I pronounce it the way native Cubanos do? Or? You should. Okay. Iceman! I mean, look at you, man. It has been too long. I'm it sorry, is... we're gonna need to take it back to Iceman? Yeah, that was my nickname in school. They, uh, you know, ice in the veins, cool and collected. It's you know. because you were always cold in class. You had that Afghan. That was a blazer. That was a knit blazer. Oh, my God. You're Iceman. I'm gonna hear this again, aren't I? Yes, Iceman. You are Iceman. Our team formulated a plan that featured WAM marketing, message sending, and of course, fluid branding. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at that little suit, it's like his bar mitzvah. Oh, Seems like a normal size suit to me. All those words and you said absolutely nothing. Oh Rex, thank you for giving us this gift. <laughs> okay, I think we've seen enough. Ah. Direct WAM management and indirect WAM Garrett, management. can you please formulate a global strategy to fold the yoga pants? in soft lines. I will fold them along multiple distribution channels. Very clever. So great to reconnect with you, Rex. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Black. That's kind of a boring topic. Unless you rap about it. <gasps> pitcha, pitcha, pitcha. Oh, no! Okay. Oh, Party's over. I love hip hop. Hey, at least now when you go back, you know what not to do. <laughs> what do you mean, go back? When he goes back to school, your enrollment's still active. Yeah, they said I could defer for two years, so. But you're not actually planning on going back, are you? I mean, I, I hadn't given it much thought. I mean, I, I was not happy there, so. But, you know, I'm not sure. That's not a no, Jonah. That's not a no. Primary circuit supplies the secondary portion of the valve with air. Pump the brakes to demonstrate. What you doing? Um, I am making a delivery. Since when do you make deliveries? Uh, since I realized we don't have any female truck drivers in 2017. Okay, I'm helping my parents move. They forgot to rent a truck and they have to be out of their house today. Uh, okay, uh, if you need some help, I actually know how to drive stick. I thought it would be something that would impress women. It does not. Uh, nope, I'm fine, thank you. All right. Yeah, you got this. Okay, fine, you can help. Oh, enough with the gratitude. Okay, hitting the road. No limits, no rules. 
I like to be right up on the wheel. So excited to meet the parents, trying to decide if I should ask my questions in chronological order from birth or by degree of embarrassment. Oh, Jonah, so sweet, so dumb. You actually think I'd bring you along if my parents were here? They're in the new place. We're just getting boxes. Hey, princess. We're a little biased, kid. A little? Hi, I'm Jonah, and I have a lot of questions. Why aren't you guys packed? It's an emotional process. Amelia, you made this in preschool. Amelia? I stay in your lane. I'm already packed. Took me two minutes to box up everything I own. Let's see. Uh, this is mostly socks, a toothbrush, and a banana. I keep it simple. What else do I need? Well, I don't know, maybe your heart medicine so that your body doesn't reject your new valve? Yep. Look, I'm gonna need to stay. Can you Uber back? Oh, no, 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 no. This is where I need to be, Amelia. You know what, Connie? Let's start with those photo albums. What do you say? Sit. Okay. Connie, you have more necklaces made out of coins than I have ever seen. Until now, the record was zero. Oh. I'm hungry. Connie, I'm hungry. OK, I will order pizza, and we will keep packing until it gets here. Pizza? This is our last meal in this house. We can't just eat junk out of a cardboard box. I mean, we could. I'll make tamales. Ooh, that oh, sounds yeah. good. But so does pizza. Mom, we don't have 12 hours for you to make tamales. I'll hurry. I just have to find that steamer. Mom, please, no. Don't, do not open that. I just packed. Mm. I can't. Hey, uh, so I'm not exactly sure what this means, but your mom said you better calm down. You're not too big to get the chancla. She's threatening to throw her sandal at me. Why did she have it out? Wait, is this your childhood bedroom? Yeah, taking all the glory. So this is where it all began for young Amelia. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, not one, but two, three, six pictures of Scott Wolf. Yeah, I was part of the Wolf Pack. Hey, is this, is this rent? I never pictured you as a, a theater nerd. I was one, too. Yeah, that's exactly how I pictured you. Oh, and I was on the debate team as well. I feel like if we went to school together, we would have been friends. Um, I'd like to think not, but yeah, probably. This was not just a crush. There's a darkness here. <laughs> the worst part about the chanclas is if you duck the first one. There's another there's one. There's another one, exactly. Right. Hun? Would you like two or three tamales? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Whoa, whoa. I'll kill you. No, 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 sir. No, not, it's not. I'm kidding. Look at him freaking out. Still hilarious, Dad. Your cousins are downstairs. Stephen's girlfriend is very loud. I told you. I'm going to the store to get some ice. No, Dad, we don't need ice. We need you to crack your stomach. This is never going to get done. I'm so sick of having to do everything for them. Then don't. Come on. No, I, I, I mean it. What, what would happen if you just left right now? And then I would be the one who had to deal with the consequences. No, you would be the one who decided to deal with the consequences instead of just letting them deal with it. I'm just saying it's not your responsibility to make sure that everything goes well for everybody else. Yeah. You're right. They're grown-ups. They'll figure it out. OK, great. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. Oh, like that. Oh, like out that way. Oh yeah, I'm not dealing with my cousins. It's like nonstop Dr. Evil impressions. Man, 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 man! Please let me help you with that, okay? You're welcome. Glenn, what are you doing, man? We're protesting. Oh, wait. oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm, I'm. Good luck okay, with I that. Okay, I never meant to get involved in a strike. I just got caught up in the drama. This is not a strike. Yeah, it is. What would you call it? A uh, demonstration, a uh, 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 expression of discontentedness. I don't know. We're just here to get Glenn's job back. Mm, noun: a refusal to work organized by a body of employees is a form of protest. Okay, it so. doesn't matter what we call it. Cool, then we'll just call it a strike. It's not a strike. We are screwed. They just sent an enforcer to drop the hammer on us. Excuse me. Oh. Your booze fuel me. I'm here to talk to the Heat. I assume Amy and I are the Heat? District Manager Jeff Sutton wants a meeting. OK. Yeah, we'll talk. Yes. I knew I could get you. 
All right, break room, 10 minutes. If you're not there by then, well, we'll wait. Okay, what are our demands? Yeah, they should let us vape in the store, right? Well, I want Cloud Nine to be closer to my house. Guys, if we go in there asking for everything, we're gonna get nothing, okay? We need to get Glenn's job back. Oh, so just like that in the vaping thing, huh? Yeah, good idea, madam. Dougie, we all know that's you. You're the only one who vapes. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. what? Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. No. We never me and Kelly do the remix. Everybody hands go up. And they stay there. Yeah. And they stay there. Yeah. And they stay there. making fun of you. It's just so pink. It's all they had in my size. And will you please take off that stupid fedora? It completes the look. We do not negotiate with terrorists. Who's the terrorist in this scenario, Dina? That suit you're wearing. Uh, no one's a terrorist. Again, you don't have to be here. Oh, I'm not going to leave you alone with these two monsters. OK. So why don't you guys just tell me what you want? Well, Jeff, it's really uh, I'm quite... sorry, Jeff. I'm going to need a minute. I'm not saying anything. I'm just doing this to intimidate him. Not your head. It was way too big, smaller knots. Okay, now giggle like I said something charming. Okay, Jeff, what we want is for Glenn to be rehired as store manager. I would sooner slit my throat and Jeff's throat before I'd let that happen. Dina, if, if you're gonna be here, I just need you to observe. Ah, assistant manager style. I got it. So, I'm authorized to rehire Glenn. Really? Well, that's, that's great. Fantastic news, Jeff, thanks. The corporate is just asking that you and the rest of the employees sign here. Then everybody can get back to work. I can go home, which is a relief, because they've got me in a motel out by the airport. It says continental breakfast, but it's like cereal and toast. I'm like, I can make that at home. Not even a muffin? I didn't look. I'm I was running late. Excuse me. This is an apology letter. Are you asking us to apologize for walking out? I know it's annoying, but you're going to have to give corporate a little something. Oh. We're supposed to give corporate a little something. That's hilarious, because you fired our boss for giving Cheyenne maternity leave. You don't give us overtime, you don't give us health insurance, and we're not allowed to vape in the store. Myrtle's got a- Maybe not as high up on the priority list. Okay, can I offer some advice? You guys walked out with no planning. You have no experience. I can see the tag on your sleeve. My point is, you're just in way over your heads. So, sign the letter, say thank you, and then don't do anything you're gonna regret. <laughs> we are still strike. on strike. Why do you have to be like that? 